Hi all. We got another toaster here. Maybe she'll like this one, huh? <laughs> so this is a Cuisinart. The most trusted name in the kitchen. Compact two slice toaster. That's important because uh, we had one that took up the whole counter. A space saving design. Perfect fit for small kitchens. Precision control. Seven shade settings. From light to dark. Wide auto adjusting slots. Slots automatically adjust to center. Hold and perfectly toast thin to thick items. Simple operation. Bagel, defrost, reheat, and cancel controls. Model number CPT-122. CPT-122. So they're on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Google+. Plus. Uh, I don't know what that one is. And that one is Instagram. At Cusinart. Okay, so here's the toaster. I'm hoping it's white. I didn't choose a color, so I just presume it was going to be white. Bagel, defrost, reheat, cancel. Big button, so you can tell what number you're on. That was a problem with a couple of toasters that we bought. So that's Spanish. Get a good video of that in case people want to read that. Okay. Uh, one touch controls, bagel, defrost, reheat, and cancel buttons with blue LEDs. Oh, that'll be nice. They light up when you press a button. High lift, so you don't have to stick a fork down in there to get your toast. High lift carriage makes it easy to remove toasted items. Shade setting dial, so you have lighter toast or darker toast. Choose from seven browning levels. Adjusting slots. Wide slots accommodate thin to thick slices. Removable crumb tray. Convenient cord wrap. Compact styling. Slim line housing requires minimal counter space. BPA free. Oh, that's good to know. That, that's the first time I've seen that. BPA free. Because it's plastic. See, she wanted a toaster that uh, wouldn't get hot on the outside. Most toasters are metal. Same thing on the top. Miscellaneous stuff on the bottom. Cusinart.com. C U I S. I N A R T dot com East Windsor, New Jersey, made in China. Okay, so here's the manual. Pretty thick manual, it's probably a good 10 pages or so. Make sure you register, you can go online and Register or send in the card. Send in, well, if you send in the card, it'll probably cost you a stamp. Uh, let's see. You, you can register by smartphone. Text a photo to 71403. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we'll open up the box here.
Okay, so here's the toaster. Nice big buttons. You don't need a flashlight to figure out what button you're pushing. Nice big dial. Get a picture inside there. Space saving design, seven shade settings, cues and art, remove before using that plastic. So we bought it off Amazon. Okay. Check out the back, nothing on the back, nothing on the sides, bottom's all plastic. It's got rubber feet so it won't slide around. That's, that's nice. So it stays, stays where you put it. You know, you, you push this down, it's not going to slide. It, it's really sticking to the table too. So. so let's check out the crumb tray here. Oh, real nice crumb tray. Warning, to prevent electric shock, unplug before cleaning. Well, you don't have to do that. When you clean it, you just take it out and clean it over the sink. Okay, so just to go over the buttons again, bagel, defrost, reheat, cancel. Then you got a big button here, one, two, three, four, five. Real easy to see what number you're on. Might not seem that big of a deal, but like on our old one, see, you couldn't tell what number you were on. So she had to mark it with a magic marker. You know, there was, you know, there was no way to tell. So let's plug it in and see if it heats up. Moment of truth. <laughs> smells pretty nasty. I think it takes like a day or so before all the chemicals burn off. It looks pretty good. We had bought one toaster and in the middle never lit up so we took it back. It's on four. It, yeah, probably five is called burn. <laughs> burn your toast. Yeah, so everything's lighting up here. This is what, at least third or fourth toaster? Yeah. And they wouldn't light up. So at least these people test their toasters, yeah. Wow, amazing. Hmm. You want to try a piece of bread? <laughs> So, I turned it off so it'll, so you got to find a setting. It's already hot now though. Okay, so it'll take a big piece of bread, see? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's way bigger than a normal piece. And then let's see here. So you can't preset it, right? Okay, so we've got this on one. We got a big piece of bread. A big piece of bread will go down in in there that that's nice with our old toaster we always had to do half of it and then flip it over and do the other half so this one takes a whole piece of bread it's on one we press this down and we'll go there's nothing for normal toast bagel 
No normal toaster would be setting that thing. So they should have a fifth button that says normal toast. <laughs> right? Both sides are heating up too. It would be nice if they would automatically check. You only have one piece of bread, so only one side would heat up. So it's using twice the electricity that it has to. Mm -hmm. And if you press the wrong button, how would you cancel that out? Okay, so that's just slightly toasted. That's on one. Oh, that's pretty good. It smells okay. But how come the other side didn't toast evenly, did it? Well, that might have something to do with bagel. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't have pressed the bagel button. Just do regular toast. I think on five it would probably burn everything. Well, yeah, that's only on one. That's, that's barely anything. I know. <laughs> that one side that's already partially yeah. toasted, and it's it's gonna toast really. Yeah, we're a just a lot. We're just playing around with it so we can burn off all the chemicals so we can use it in the morning. It smells okay now. It smells good. That's only the third time. So. Yeah, it's pretty hot. good. Hot. It smells good. It smells like toast. I don't smell any more chemicals. So. I wonder if they already tested them and did that before they packed them up. One more time, just to... So if you wanted to defrost, you would click that one. There, there's no way to change it after you select that one. So, uh, a bagel and defrost, you can select two. So defrost. That bottom one, don't that cancel it? Yeah. Oh yeah, the bottom one cancels it out. Yeah. So bagel re reheat? No. Bagel and de and defrost. Defrost and reheat. No. Reheat bagel? No. So really the only two that you can select are these two. If, if you don't have any blue light on, can you cancel it? Oh yeah, that's the cancel button then. Yeah, it says cancel right there. So. Yeah. If you think you set it too far and your toast is burning, you can cancel it and yeah. make it pop up. I wonder if you can just push this up. Yeah, you can. It was kind of fighting me, though. Yeah, but I think it's better to press the button. Yeah. Because there's probably a clip in there. S smells good. The outside's a little warm, but it's not hot, hot, hot. The uh, back is hot. So. Well, you heated it up about... Ten times. Yeah. <laughs> it's bound to get hot if you yeah. run it that long. <clears throat> well, it seems to be okay. Okay. We finally got a winner. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be, what, our fourth fourth yeah. one? I hate the part with my other one. It was a Toastmaster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. See ya. Okay. Bye.